turn it up. Now sing. <laughs> In the ocean stay and look who he found. A naked man. <laughs> uh, Yo, give yourself an introduction, man. Fucking white. I'm Bob from Olympus Iron, four weeks out from a competition. Uh, my first natural OCB competition. So this is me posing down for Matt Keto. <laughs> just for me, just for me. And You're not interrupting, just pull, pull whatever you want. Go no ahead. G4P, it's all free. You call, out the, you call out the poses. All right, give me a... I just want to use this time to give a huge shout out to Bob from Olympus Iron. He is the nicest guy you will ever meet. I first met him in FitCon at Texas and we just instantly became friends. We instantly clicked, we traded numbers, we keep in contact from time to time. But he's just an overall high energy, positive guy. He's the kind of guy that you want to keep in your circle of friends just because he's has a really good attitude he pushes you in the gym and he's just fun <laughs> bottom line he's just fun so he's four weeks out from his show the first show is always the hardest if you guys don't know because your body's not mentally ready physically ready your mind's not ready and he's taking it really awesome for his first show so make sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel. Link will be in the description. Follow him on Instagram and all that good stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I am ridiculously impressed with how Bob ended up coming in condition-wise. With naturals, it's always very hard to tell. This is very easy for a natural, so she hasn't been lifting for like more, more than five years to like lose a lot of size and deflate a lot. You look really full and big in the offseason, and they end up looking like shrimp beanish when they cut down, but Bob's killed it. Yeah, he kept it's lots big. of his size. Got that jawline of the gods. <laughs> Bob. Wow. Look at this art trailer. There you go. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. So we're taking Nick to aesthetic land and we're hitting that ancient chest so you can get them. That full 3D chest. There you go. Alright, let's just warm up with the bar. Four, five, four, one, one. Ow! That looks about good. You need a, you need a lift off? Yes, I need some help. <laughs> this bench actually feels better than ours. I like the bench a lot, actually. Except the decline, I'm not a big fan of the decline here. I don't like decline, bitch. The legendary deadlifting platform. Yeah. This is Nick's platform. He's doing the same uh, program I'm doing. The new Ocean State platform, love it. Love so it. slowly converting into a strength program. Shout out to my boy Corey right here. What's up, man? Be a new Shout team. out. Went to school with him. Nice. Very, very random. Matt, by the way. Matt. What's up, man? I haven't seen him in like years. Just a little fun fact. <laughs> Boom. It's better that way. I don't need like a lot anyway. Just, oh, just no, a little bit on my shoulders. So different. Yeah. Uh, I'm different. All ready? We can. One, two. Ah, I got it. So here we got Nick with two plates, and Nick never really does incline bench pressing anymore, mainly because he's a powerlifter. And I told him I was totally down to do a flat bench because I know that. That's what he normally does, but he insisted that we do my routine, so it was cool. So right now we got two plates on the bench. Next, I jump on two plates. We're still warming it up. I got my elbow nice and warmed up. That's why we're um, snapping those reps on the bar, just warming up my elbow. I did lots of push-ups, lots of band work prior to that. So we got two plates on the bar, and right now I'm just getting used to his bench. Like, his bench compared to the gym bench I normally use in New York is really really different so basically I set up totally wrong on this you can't see it from this angle but my hips started shooting really high my feet weren't planted my back was not retracted my scapula wasn't retracted into the bench which is why like it just felt not tight what you want to do is you want to put your, push your feet through the ground, squeeze your glutes into the bench, stay retracted. What was happening was my stringer, because my back is exposed, 
my sticky back was getting stuck to the bench and I couldn't retract it and slide down deeper into the bench into position which I should have set up from the beginning so now we're messing with some of Nick's smelling salts it's pretty much just ammonia what it does is it stimulates your nervous system it kind of just gives you a jolt to wake you up as you can see Nick he's like yeah making all kinds of faces it's so hard to like smell it and not make a face it just shocks you but you see lots of powerlifters use it before they hit like a one rep max or something it's also used for victims that like pass out what they'll do is they'll snap it and hold it over the victim's nose to help wake them up so here we got Nick with 275 he got about one and a half reps yeah, but keep in mind, Nick doesn't really do incline bench press. So next, we have me on the incline bench press. 275, I was shaky about. I've never hit 275 on the incline before. I was Upon doing the set, I was thinking maybe I'll get one rep if I'm lucky. Until the ammonia kicked in. So here you're going to see. The only way I can describe the ammonia is it's kind of like a crazy adrenaline rush that lasts for two minutes. Like, I can't really compare it to anything else except like skydiving. When I went skydiving, for like the next two hours after landing on ground, I just felt like I was flying because the adrenaline rush was crazy. It's kind of similar like that, except it's only two minutes long instead of two hours long prior. So here I thought, because I was getting second hand, it was going to be okay. But it totally caught me by surprise. That bottle really keeps its freshness and it was crazy. Deep breath before you go down. Confidence. One, two. Oh, come on. Deep breath. Confidence. Go. Try, try, try. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Up, 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 up. Up. <laughs> oh. Ooh. The lad beat me. Weighing less than me. Oh. <laughs> I told you it was a beast. Oh, that's a rush. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh. Crazy. Woo! Oh shit, Carter, full. Up shot. Holy shit. Uh. You done, Nick? <laughs> oh, I can delete some stuff. It's gonna be hard time for to open my slingshot, but my mobility's pretty damn decent. <laughs> like, I'm good. I teach a full class. I'm not hurting no mobility here. You're all kind of love it. <laughs> Ari loves it. <laughs> this is not Nick. All right, into Walmart, my favorite store in the whole entire world, to get to get you guys blankets. <laughs> <laughs> we need blankets because it's a cold night tonight. Yeah, these guys, I got like a pull-out couch for them, all luxury. But there's no blankets in the house, except for my curtain blanket, but you don't want to use that. <laughs> <laughs> Cut up for warm. Yeah, exactly. That's when the fluffiness kicks in. So I just buy like a, like a comforter set or something like that, or two perhaps. <laughs> well, whatever. Figure it out. Jay said he can sleep on the ground like nothing. <laughs> I'm holding you to your word there. <laughs> oh, pinatas. Dude, I all. forgot Halloween's coming up. It's almost been a year since I destroyed my ankle. Yeah, it's still more than a month away, bro. I fucking love Halloween. Oh, that's my favorite holiday next to I Christmas. I love the day love Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> my birthday's so next month. Hard. Your birthday's next month? Yep. Is that the blanket of choice? You gotta do it the face rub test. <laughs> Just rub it again and brush like, it up. Well, yeah, I was like, oh, five bucks. How bad? It says car and like, stadium. These are definitely not for bed. No. <laughs> when it said car, I was like, I wouldn't even use that in a car, though. Would you like a plush blanket, Matt? It's pretty plush, honestly. Do the, yeah, do the face fail. Is it good? Yeah. Uh, if I had to describe it in one word, I would say plush. <laughs> what are you guys gonna do? Gonna fight? You guys gonna fight? Yeah, let's fight. You gotta get the rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> you get something good going. <laughs> and your hands just stays nice and plushy. <laughs> it's good. It's like hand warmers. Beautiful. Who needs gloves? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who needs a condom? Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! Immortal!